Good evening and welcome to the Financial Week. I'm Herman Green. Currency trading ended today with the U.S. dollar selling for $125.18. The Canadian dollar is selling for $99.06. The pound sterling costs $175.93, while the euro is going for $156.22. Oil prices edged up today, stabilizing after an earlier slide driven by U.S. President Donald Trump's criticism of OPEC's role in pushing up global oil prices. Now, oil for delivery in June, the most active U.S. contract period, is up $0.07 cents at $68.40 a barrel. Digital said it has sold its stake in the Myanmar-based cash acceptance network called Red Dot. The company made the announcement today. It said the details of the transactions are confidential. Launched in 2014, Red Dot offers a range of cash payment, cash payment acceptance services to people across Myanmar. The company employs 345 staff and provides services including mobile top-up, bill payment, voucher payments, and an advanced coupon. The JMMB Group yesterday listed its U.S. dollar cumulative rede redeemable shares the listings were historic for the Jamaica Stock Exchange as it brings their total number of listings to 100. We have reached our 100 security mark. At, yes. Thank you. Thank you. A target we have been working so hard to achieve. So with these four listings, we are very happy. Thanks, JMMB. <laughs> The listings come after JMMB raised over $9 billion from two preference shares. They are the 11th for JMMB, the most for any company. Has moved from 52 to 70. Okay. Congratulations. <laughs> you know, th those are real numbers, real numbers. This is the most vibrant market in the Caribbean, and we are in three markets, and lead the way. Stocks ended mostly higher, pushing the JSE index to an all-time high 1,094 points, while the junior market index gained more than 46. Now, stocks posting higher today included Carib Cement, Caribbean Producers, Sibony Group, Grace Kennedy, Jetcon, Kingston Wharves, Mayberry Investments, Radio Jamaica, and Wisinko Group. On the losing end were Berger Paints, Fosrich, Jamaica Broilers, Pulse Investments, Sagicore Group, Scotia Group, and T Tech. And that wraps up the Financial Week. I'm Herman Green. Good evening.